So this is the Gilly Ketten Adventurer. It's uh, 1.5 litres. We have already done a boil on it before, so I've just emptied out and got new cold water in there. So we're just going to pop it on top there, get this little fire going. Drop some sticks up on the top a minute. So there's a bit of hail up in there for a bit of a minute. A bit damp today as well, quite a lot of rain recently. So we just took on the time to see how long it takes for the gilly cat to boil one and a half litres of water. Well, it'll be just under because they don't recommend to fill it all the way to the top. You'll see why in a minute when this starts whistling. It's a fantastic bit of kiss. The um, first time I've used one. I used one, um, used it earlier, like I said, just, just before this video to um, try out for the first time ever. And it worked so impressively that we thought we'd do a video. So you see now, if you just bring the camera over Evie, just as you drop in sticks in through the middle, they stack upwards and then the fire comes up through. There's a hole at the bottom here. Uh, if I just have the camera a minute, i just show you. It comes down through the bottom. Uh, the air draws up through here, like a chimney effect, and out the top. And then you've got the water in a jacket inside here and it just boils up nicely uh, it doesn't take a huge amount of fuel we're now at just over two minutes uh, i can already start to hear it rumbling in there nice and hot, doesn't use a huge amount of fuel. Just chopping it up to make it burn a bit easier at the moment. Just wait. Look, sort of small bubbles starting to roll up there. Eh? A bit of steam coming out of there. Won't be much longer at all. You can buy the conversion kit that goes on the top as well. You can call it like a hobo stove. Uh, it goes on top here, it's like a cross. Then you can put your pan on top as well so you can cook coffee stove whilst you're boiling your water for your brew. You see bits of steam there coming out of this little spike here. You see on the end here there's a little hole with a whistle. I'll start whistling off in a minute when it's um, boiled. I won't put any more fuel in there now because there's plenty in there. And bear in mind if this is a warmer day and it's nice and dry then we'd um, probably be boiling it a bit quicker but it's quite cold today. We're in just at the end of January, beginning of February. 
in the UK, so it's nice and wet and chilly as per usual. But I can highly recommend these, they're fantastic, although they're quite large. If you're out camping, you've got fuel wherever you go, which is, is nice. I like the design and the make of it, they're, they're really solid design. Well made, lovely wooden handle here. It doesn't even get hot, I can hold that. It's been against there the whole time. Okay, you can now see the steam coming out a bit more out of here. I think it's going to whistle shortly. There we go. So the, the water's coming out the top there because we um, filled it right up to see how long it would take to do a full bottle. Full kettle. We'll take that off now. And then to pour it, simply hold the chain at the back there. Some nice water. We'll just um, empty out a little bit more. We'll replace that, keep the heat in there a bit more. There we go, skilly kettle.